A new short documentary recently published by TPS now shows what Israel has long been alleging, that the Hamas terror group in Gaza uses children as human shields. But never before has the claim been given such credence until now, as a Palestinian journalist speaking under condition of anonymity told TPS reporters in detail how Hamas abuses its power, taking young kids to the front lines for use in the PR war against Israel. And here now with more is Colonel in the Reserves Olivier Rafovitz, a senior security and military analyst, and Dr. Martin Sherman, the founder and executive director of the Israel Institute for Strategic Studies. Gentlemen, thank you very much for coming in again today. Uh, Dr. Sherman, first of all, thank you so much for coming in again. It's, it's been a while. Uh, yeah. So I'll start with you. you know, how can Israel uh, hope to cope in the face of this kind of horrific phenomenon? How can Israel reduce or, or fight back against this? Well, you know, I, th I think that Israel shouldn't get back, uh, bogged down um, with uh, a, a tactical symptom, but rather deal with the, the strategic uh, uh, failing. This is just another example of how Israel has pref uh, failed to present its case in the international arena. Everybody knows that uh, Hamas has been using children. This might just be a, a, a new boost uh, to, to emphasize it, but it's not been a secret that Hamas has, has put uh, civilians women, children, uh, elderly in harm's way in order to, to make Israel look bad, to hamper Israel's uh, um, okay. operational ability. And I think Israel has to make a, a, a sea change in the way it approaches Gaza. I think we have to stop looking at the Gazans as prospective peace partners and look at them as uh, uh, implacable enemies and treat them as that. The Gazan, the Gazan public is not the victim of its leadership. It's the crucible in which that leadership was formed and from which it emerged. Now, we, we, the, the only way to, to, to deal with it is to, is, is to have an, a vision of what's going to be in Gaza in 20, 20 years' time. You know, we can get bogged down about arguing whether the children are being used, whether the children are not being used, but what's, what's the long game? And you have to subordinate your, dip, your, your, your diplomacy to your long-term strategy, and, and clearly, as I've said many times before, there are either going to be Arabs in Gaza or Jews in the Negev, but there won't be both. And therefore, you need a strategy that deals with, with uh, the, the, the realities in Gaza, and therefore, collateral damage and, and losses in achieving uh, uh, military objectives cannot be a consideration. Colonel, you know, same question. How can Israel deal with, with children on the front lines? Should, they, should Israel be ignoring it as an operational kind of, uh, you know, a hazard, as, as collateral damage, or, or can you know, we be doing more? It's a very tricky war, because uh, as you just mentioned, Hamas, but also Islamic Jihad and Hezbollah and all Islamic groups all over the world are not only using their children, they are using their women, their uh, elder people, they are using their own people as a human shield uh, to go against the Americans, against the French, against the Brits, against the Israeli. It's very simple because they don't care about a human life. And uh, if uh, people are, are, are killed, it's good for them. Now, in this, in this system of war, what do you do? The only thing that you can do really, uh, first is to tell the world and to tell the UN and to tell the European institution that stop to be hypocrite. Stop to, to believe what okay. these guys are just selling to you for years and years because it's it's, 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 it's fake news. It's uh, just to, to play with your own medias. But I think that the, the only real thing to do is to arrest the responsible and to bring them to the International Court of Justice and to make a trial because they are just using their own people uh, and they are ready to, to kill them. So in this, in this, in this uh, Court of Justice, maybe in, uh, in the Netherlands, uh, they will be just judged as, uh, as uh, um, I, I just forgot the word, I'm sorry, uh, as the responsible for the killing of their own people because they want, they want, they want to achieve. But, 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 this, but this isn't new, as, as uh, Dr. Sherman you know, pointed out <clears throat> earlier, is that the, the world should know by now. The evidence is out there. The, the, we recently released uh, you know, the Terrorists in Suits Lisa, report. Which the, world, the world knows. But it's very nice to sell such news because people are just getting this news like it's a truth, but the truth is that Israelis are not the, the bad guys. The Israelis are the, are the good guys. And in, in between the good and the bad, the bad are the other side. The point is, how do you convince the uh, newspapers? I'll, 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 oh, sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll please. You, what we're doing now is we're reaping the bitter fruits of Israeli indolence in presenting its case to the world. 
And I've been said time and time again in the studio, if Israel would present one, would, would allot 1% one of state budget for public diplomacy, that's a billion dollars. With a billion dollars, you can change a lot of minds and win a lot of hearts. And that must all be aimed at delegitimizing the Palestinian narrative and showing all that the Palestinians really want to do is set up a homophobic, misogynistic, Muslim majority tyranny on the, the fringes of southern Italy. Now, once you frame the question, like, you know, if you look at the double standard, whenever democracies have gone to war in the last two or three decades, if they're, they've behaved far worse than Israel. If you look at the NATO bombings in Serbia, where they bombed bridges and fleeing convoys of, uh, of refugees, uh, where you look at what's happened uh, when, the, when the Americans uh, imposed sanctions on, on, on Iraq. You know, there was, there was, there, there, there was a, an interview with Leslie Storr with, 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 with uh, uh, Madeleine Albright, and she pointed out that the American imposed sanctions had killed half a million Iraqi babies. And she said, is it worth it? And Albright, Clinton's, uh, Clinton's uh, uh, secretary mm. said, he said, yes, it's worth it. So there's a complete double standard so, yeah. when it comes to judging Just, Israel. And Israel must go on a massive public diplomacy uh, to eradicate that double standard. I think that we're not, we don't need to compare with other countries. We need to arrest the, the chief of the Hamas and to bring them to court as war criminals. As, as, as war criminals. Because okay. until the day that you make an open, open trial for the world, showing the reality, showing that these people are just killing their own people, are using their children, are using their women. I mean, who is able to do so? Only a criminal. But why are they head? Why are they head? They were, they were elected. What's going to be in Gaza in 20 years' time? Suppose you, 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 you take uh, one head, you took away an, uh, Ania, and now you've got, uh, uh, what's his name? Sinwar. Sinwar. And when they take away Sinwar, you'll have someone else. That's the, the, that's the crucible from which the, the, the leadership uh, the, yeah, the, the leadership. So, so your focus is more on education? And no, then, my, fo you know, my, 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 my focus PR, is on right? understanding. First of all, PR. But you have to sure. understand that there will either be Arabs in Gaza or Jews in the Negev. There won't be both in the long run. There won't be both. I and mean, we, we, can, we can really see the resolve in the last, the last encounter beginning to falter. And in this, in this, in this Israel takes assertive action to protect its citizens. It's, and it's just allow, allowing the Hamas to... to, yeah. to, to just to one last sentence. Final, final comment. Yeah, final comment. The I mean, we are going to continue to fight and to protect ourselves. If now they want to bring uh, such a, a situation against Israel, we'll find a way. But we are not going to make any compromise mm -hmm. for the security of Israel. And I believe that the world, at some point, will understand that the criminal, the real criminal, are the Hamas chief who are using their own population against Israel. That's the issue. Because it's not a, an issue to what to do, what not to do. We have yeah, to, well, to, well, to, to show our case, well, hope, and our case will be shown. Well, I hope that that, uh, that, that happens as you predict. Hopefully. Colonel Rafowitz, Dr. Sherman, thank you so much for coming. Yeah. Welcome.